on the Cheshire-Derbyshire border, where history seems to literally penetrate the hilltops. I'm currently standing in an Iron Age defensive ditch, and over on Cobden Edge, a team of archaeologists are investigating a Bronze Age burial site, made famous by a previous dig, with the discovery of a rare and yet beautiful amber necklace. Leading the current investigation is Bob Johnston of the University of Sheffield. So if I can get out of this ditch, I'm going to go meet him. When people were burying their dead in the Bronze Age, they deliberately chose locations that were kind of dramatic settings and could be seen from, from a long distance around. And that may be to do with a feeling that they wanted the dead to look over their, you know, their territories or their land, um, or it may be that in some sense they saw high points or, or mountainous or, or hills as spiritually important or sacred places. Of the techniques we're using, geophysical survey, which includes resistivity survey and, and magnetometer, is about trying to see beneath the soil effectively, using instruments that measure um, the resistance of the soil to an electric current or measuring variation in the Earth's magnetic field. So topographic survey, we have the total station here and we have a mobile prismode there and it basically takes the horizontal and the vertical distance so you can form one of these nice sort of landform maps. So that's modern archaeology, bringing us closer to the fascinating detail of the Bronze Age. But it's not just the hilltops that are brimming with history, Mellor's valley beds are too. During the Industrial Revolution, cotton mills were scattered across the Mellor and Mill brooks, and yet the most extraordinary building of all is the Mellor Mill on the River Goit. Unfortunately, the mill burnt down in 1892, and so today archaeologists are working to expose the ruins of what was once one of the wonders of the Industrial Water Age. <laughs> 